Hey everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. A 28 years old man is undergoing an appendicectomy. The external oblique aponeurosis is incised and the underlying muscle is split in the line of its fibers. At the medial edge of the wound is a tough fibrous structure. Entry to this structure will most likely encounter which of the colloids. So, uh, in this question, first of all, we have to find out the key points for answering the question. Here we can see a 28 years old man undergoing appendicectomy. External oblique muscle is incised, then underlying muscle is split. And we know that the muscle which uh, located uh, underlying the uh, external oblique, this is the internal oblique muscle. And the medial edge of the wound is tough fibrous structure. So when it is shown extend medially, the tough fibrous structure was found. And entry of this structure will most likely encounter which of the following. So here are the options. The options are internal oblique, rectus abdominis muscle, transversus abdominis muscle, linea alba, and peritoneum. So for answering the question, let's see some of the picture. Here we can see the abdominal wall, and here we can see the uh, layers of the abdomen. So first of all, this is the skin, then superficial fascia. The superficial fascia contains uh, superficial fatty layer and membranous layer, or camper fascia and scar fascia. Then, uh, so now it is clear: skin, superficial fascia. Then three important muscles. One is the external oblique. Second one is the internal oblique. Then we can see this is the transversus abdominis muscle. Then we can see another structure. This is the transversal fascia, then extraperitoneal fascia, and parietal peritoneum. So they are these eight layers of anterior abdominal wall. Again, skin, superficial fascia, three important muscle: external oblique muscle, internal oblique muscle, and transversus abdominis muscle. Then three other structures such as fascia transversalis or transversalis fascia, extraperitoneal fascia, and parietal peritoneum. So here we can see this. Uh, first of all, for appendicectomy, the external oblique was, uh, muscle was removed. Then there is the internal oblique muscle, and if we move laterally, here we can see the if we move laterally. This is the tough structure, and this tough structure is a fibrous structure. And if we cut down it, then medially we found this muscle. So we have to know the name of this muscle. So here we can see this is the muscle, and it known as the rectus abdominis muscle. So during the appendicectomy procedure, if we extend medially. The muscle will encounter and this muscle is the rectus abdominis muscle here in this picture we can see this is the external oblique muscle and just below the external oblique muscle here is the internal oblique muscle and if we extend medially this muscle encounter and we can see this muscle is represent this muscle and this is the rectus abdominis muscle so our answer is the rectus abdominis muscle because the rectus abdominis muscle it lies the medial Aids of the fibrous structure or medial aids of the appendicectomy incision. So during appendicectomy, external oblique aponeurosis is split. Then the another muscle is split. Then we go to medial aids. The then fibrous structure encounter, which is the rectus fascia. Then when cut it, we will get the rectus abdominis muscle. Thank you.